not poets wow well all right <laughs> i literally i even walked past this earlier and didn't even notice it i just this second noticed it that's weird anyway today i've got kind of a semi serious topic to talk about it's not serious in like you know well i guess it is as serious as any but you know it's not um like, uh, oh, we're going to talk about abortion today or anything like that. Uh, but we're going to be talking about uh, outward appearance, which is a very important topic. I don't want to, you know, take away from that by being too, too humorous at the beginning or, you know. I, like, I always feel like when I do these kinds of talks and we're about to talk about something deep and, and sentimental and important and uh, informative and then we like mess around with, you know, joking about things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes it's, you know, almost disrespectful in a weird way, but that's not my intention. Uh, I'm here to get food. I need to find where there would be food. I know there, there are restaurants everywhere. I think I have enough iron to get some JFC fried fish and chips. <laughs> fried fish and chips. Yeah. I think I have enough iron to get some fish and chips, which I will do. Oh, yeah, I have a lot. Uh, it costs 10, right? Yeah, 10 for fish. Stack. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, so outward appearance is sort of the the one that we wanted to talk about. I think that was ten. Yeah, I think. Wait, that's one last. Okay, there we go. I probably miscounted that. Actually, now I know that I did. I gave him a tip. Uh, um. Yeah. So outward appearance. It's something that you know, a, a lot of people struggle with. Not me personally, and that's sort of um, the issue, I guess, in in a weird way. Like, it's, it's not an... Where's the crafting table? It's not an issue for me. It's an issue that I can't relate as well to people who have these kinds of issues as I wish I could. And in that sense, that's why I wish... Does nobody have a crafting table? Code wing. Code wing will have to... Yes. Um, I wish that I could relate better to people who have these kinds of issues. You know, whatever the issue is. And maybe that's some uh, like a weird way to, you know, try to relate to people. But, you know, when someone comes to me with a problem, I wish that I could say, oh yeah, you know, I have experience with that. And, you know, my answer was this. When it comes to outward appearance, a lot of people have issues with their outward appearance, and for many different reasons. Um, and that's sort of what I wanted to touch upon today. Uh, I was watching a video, and I don't even know how I stumbled upon it. Like, I, I really... Oh, I actually do. Okay, so Aurelian is on Mindcrack. I've known her... Since before she was on Minecraft, since, heck, before she was even working for Twitch. Maybe even before she started streaming. Um, she was the one who invited me to play with people like Captain Sparkles. And who invited me to uh, have dinner with Skyda's Minecraft at PAX in 2013. And, you know, things like that. So she's actually been... Very supportive of, of me and my career. And in a little way, even if she isn't like a close friend, um, she has always been welcoming in that sense. And that she's always been, you know, someone that uh, has helped me out in 
without me ever asking for help. Um, and so as such, I follow her channel to a very minor extent. As much as I follow any channel, and you guys know this, I've said it before, I don't watch YouTube, I don't watch uh, very many live streams, except for maybe the people on Timeshot. Um, I don't have a lot of time in my day to commit to YouTube video games and things. And it sounds kind of weird, but like, if I do have free time, the last thing that I want to do <laughs> is watch someone play a video game. Like, it's weird for me to say that, because I mean, that's, that's my bread and butter, but... Like, I, I play so many video games all day long, every day. The last thing I want to do generally in my free time is watch people play, you know? Will it grow back if it's just a stump like that? Do I have to plant this somehow? Do I craft a seed out of it? How do I do this? I don't know! Wait a minute. I got it. There we go. Give me this. Put that down and it'll grow. I bet. I think. Wanted to actually... Um, grab some of these today. Because I wanted to see if they'd look good in my base. I don't know if they will. We're getting off topic, I know. But i got to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, so I don't know if these will look good, but I'm going to try them anyway, because as a replacement to the acacia trees, yeah, maybe they'd, maybe they'd be all right. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should definitely be grabbing more than just the one per, because that seems like a big waste. I think I'll, I'll stop breaking them. If I got three, I can harvest them from three. I need some of this, don't I? I don't think it grows on anything else. Anyway. Back to the topic. So, Aurelian, I follow as much as anyone. Okay. And more often than not, it's Twitter that I follow from people. Like, if... Sup, Home Slice? <laughs> Edson's on right now. That's why I said that. Um... Oh, Edson's on right now. I can't sleep. What am I? <laughs> um, but anyway, I follow people on Twitter more than I follow their YouTube channels or Twitch or anything like that. Um, so I, I was looking on Twitter one day. She tweets out a question and said, what are your thoughts on plastic surgery? And it was a basic poll saying, yes, no, don't care. Oh. And I voted. And I voted that I didn't care. You know, if someone wants to do plastic surgery, that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, and I know that that's sort of the hot button issue. And that's why she asked it. And I respect that totally. When someone is kind of bold enough to ask the questions that people might be, you know, have huge differing opinions on. Um, so she asked the question and got a number of responses um i think I, I don't know what her stats are you could go to her channel and see the video she posted afterwards about it which i'll be referring to a bit more but she posted stats on how people answered and most people voted that they didn't care and i think that that's sort of the way that society in general um view things like that that's why I voted that way, too. Um, uh, the other majority... Not a majority. What's the word for it? The other larger number... No, it wasn't larger than the... What am I trying to say? The number in second place was that they were opposed to it for varying reasons. And then third place, of course, was the people who were just, yes, do it. It's, it's good. I'm in favor of it. So I voted, and the way that I voted was that I didn't care. Because, I mean, this is something that I shouldn't even have to explain why I don't care. 
but it's honestly, you know, I, I don't question people's uh, eating habits. I don't question their religions. I don't question their cultures or traditions. I don't question their sexuality or um, what they do in their free time, in their own time, their opinions on things, their own choices they make in their lives. I don't question that. And that's fine. That's I, I feel like in me letting people do what they want and them, them letting me do what I want, we can all just live happy lives. And that's that. So that's why I voted that way. I said, you know what? I, I don't care either way. If someone gets plastic surgery, I don't care. Um, but that's not what my opinion is for myself. Um, and, and I don't know if, like, I, I almost don't want to say it, but it is sort of true that, you know, maybe it's a guy thing, quote unquote, um, which seems kind of old fashioned to say in these days, but, you know, I, I don't know of a lot of guys who have, or at least maybe they just don't say it. Uh, but I certainly don't know of very many guys who have talked about getting plastic surgery ever. Um, in fact, I don't know of any that I've ever talked to who have said something like that, that, oh, I'm thinking about getting, you know, my, my nose adjusted or, you know, uh, whatever my chin more chiseled. I, I don't, I don't even know what a guy could do. Um, and that's just it is like, you know, there's, there's this sort of, um, a weird sort of point to make about how girls feel about themselves, I think. Because on the flip side, and maybe this is all coincidence, I've known and in fact dated quite a few people who have talked to me um, about their uh, wishes, their desires to have some kind of a surgery done to change how they look because they're not happy with how they look or what have you. And... I mean, it seems to me, at least, with the very limited knowledge that I have, and maybe there are statistics somewhere that could back me up, but I don't know, that women want plastic surgery a lot more often than men tend to. I don't know. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. I'm just going based off of my personal experience with it. And uh, something I usually point out at the beginnings of episodes like this is that my personal experience with it it's typically wrong, uh, typically biased, and completely based upon the very limited facts that I have, okay? So, you know, don't fault me, really, for for doing the best that I can with the information I'm given. Because I, I hate being that guy. I hate being, you know, oh, it's always women. Women think so little of themselves. But there are guys, obviously, who think the same way, too. I mean, this without question. Absolutely without question. Um, I just feel like in my personal experience, there have been more women. And so that's why I'm saying maybe as a guy, you know, that's, it's a guy thing where I haven't heard guys wanting it. And maybe we just don't talk about things like that as openly. I don't really know which of the two it is, you know, prove me wrong. Right. Um, so with that in mind, like. For my personal opinion on the matter, I would never do something as drastic as, like, a surgery uh, for myself. And in general, I don't feel that other people should either. Though, like I said, I don't care if someone does. But I don't feel like they, sh they should necessarily or that it's necessary. Necessarily. If you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go into the nether right now and get some quartz. I hate that we have to do this in an episode, but I have to go and get some quartz. We are super, 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 super low on it. Actually, let me rename some picks first. These are feather falling, right? Yeah. Let's go rename these picks, and then I'll go looking for quartz. So, 
basically, I I don't have a problem with people doing it. It's like, I don't have a problem with people slathering makeup on their faces, dyeing their hair, um, getting tattoos. I even have a tattoo. But, like, I, you know, in general, I don't find that those kinds of things are necessary. You know, like, I, I feel I, people are fine if they do it. Absolutely. But... I don't feel like there's a necessity involved. Like, you need to do this. Or that, you know, if... That society demands it. Um, so it's sort of this this weird outlook on it, I think. What is this? Fortune 3, mend. And this is the efficiency, and this is silky. Mending? No, I'm breaking. Silk F4. Alright. Alright. That one I probably don't need. Alright. Let's go get some quartz. So I kind of don't want to put myself in a spot where I'm offending too many people. Like... And this is something, I left a comment on Aurelian's video. She made a video, okay, to, to get back to what I was talking about with her. She, how she asked this question. And she made a video about it. How she discussed how she was going to be doing it. Or I think that she was thinking about it. And that she was very comfortable with it. And that she had done it in the past. And I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine. But she wanted people to think about it more. And get opinions on it more basically to just kind of consider things that you hadn't considered before and expand your mind on this idea and I like that that's what I try to do with people all the time is you know what if you disagree with me if you agree with me if you have a completely different opinion than me at least you're thinking about it. And I like that element. And that's what she wanted. And that's what I did. So I just sat down. In her comment section unfortunately. <laughs> and I sat down and I just. Sort of. As the thoughts were coming to my mind. I wrote them down. Whether they were wrong. Whether they were right. Whether they didn't make sense. Whether they did make sense at the time. Um, you know I just. Whatever. I was thinking, I came up with, I put down. That's that's just kind of how all people should be thinking. That's how you the learning process should always go. You know, is to lay it all out there. Whatever you think is right, whatever you think is wrong, just put it out there. And as you consider it, refute yourself, debate yourself. Wait, oops. Um, you always have to be like questioning yourself, questioning what you've, what you've said. You know, I can say like, well, I think that it's wrong because da, 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 da. And then in the next sentence be like, however, you know, however, when I think about this situation, maybe it's not so wrong, you know? And, you know, that's kind of how my thinking process works, my thought process. And that's kind of what I did there. Um, in her comment section, and <laughs> like I say, unfortunately, because it's sort of, I hate being that kind of like, oh no, here's this massive wall of text that nobody cares about whatsoever. Um, but that's, it wasn't really written for anyone. It was written for myself. Just, you know, to kind of play the game more or less and to think about things that I hadn't considered before. So I wanted to go through some of that today. And, like I said, one of the first things, one of the very first things, is that I don't care what people do with themselves. But for myself, for my own personal self, I wouldn't do it. And I don't think that it's necessary for other people. Now, her sort of point that she made about that kind of comment, she even said in the video, the worst thing that you can say to someone who has told you that they are considering plastic surgery is that they don't need it. Or that you don't think that they need it, or that they're they're beautiful enough how they are, or that 
um, how did she word it exactly? I can't remember. Um, but essentially that, you know, the one of the worst things you could say to them is that, you know, I think you're very beautiful enough, as it is. Because you don't know what their own personal well-being is. Which is absolutely true. Like, I don't know why a person is doing a certain thing that they're doing. I And I often don't question things like that. You know, I don't care why you're doing what you're doing often. Uh, it's not that I'm um, a cold person. It's that I genuinely think that if you're happy, then you should keep doing what makes you happy. That's why I don't question it. I may question it if it hurts yourself. But, you know, more often than not, if it's something harmless, I'm not going to say anything about it. It's not who I am. Um... But she was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah I, it could really negatively affect their well-being. Like, you don't know what mental state the person's in or why they are saying this or why they're reaching out, you know. So why why is someone reaching out? Why is someone doing this? Um, who am I to say, no, don't do that. You're, you're perfect how you are. I get that. I, I understand. But, like, in my comment that I made... You know, I said that, uh, I think that people who feel that their outward appearance matters and they're not happy because they're, uh, embarrassed with themselves or that they somehow, for some reason need to conform with, uh, what others deem to be beautiful. Like it's clearly in this case. When we're talking specifically about altering yourself to look a certain way, um, it's it's a serious thing. It's a personal, very very personal thing. You know, getting a new haircut can sometimes be a very personal and important thing. Just imagine <laughs> altering yourself to never look the same again. Like that is one of the most personal and important decisions a person could make i imagine <laughs> it's it's i couldn't imagine it actually <laughs> as i say imagine i can't imagine it's just too personal to me but for all the talk about well-being and mental health and i the word confidence came up a lot um and it is a personal issue. My thought keeps going back to, you know, think about this. Consider this. Okay. Imagine, if you will, this is a weird thing to imagine, but just imagine that we grew up in a world where we are the only human beings out there. We don't even know what another human being looks like. We are alone. Would you hate the way that you look? If you didn't even know what quote unquote beautiful was. Would you hate the way that you look or want to change the way you looked if there was no one else there to see that change? And I'm not sure about what that answer would be. And I can't make that answer because I'm not someone who's considered it, like like I was saying. But I almost feel like, I mean, it's got to be, there has to be, though people can deny it. The only reason for me to want to change, because I don't see what I look like, okay? This is something that kind of opened my eyes. This was years and years and years and years and years ago. I was, I think, still in elementary school. And one of the, a teacher I had made some weird comment. I don't remember what it was about even. But they made a comment about, like, um, who knows your face the most? And a lot of people were like, well, of course I know my face the most. I know what I look like the most. And he was like, no. Of course not. How often do you look at yourself? You know, you look at yourself maybe in the mirror in the morning, maybe at night. 
Um, if you've got a phone and you're like FaceTiming or something, maybe you look at yourself then a little bit. But the majority of the time, it's the people around you who see what you look like. You don't see what you look like more often than not. You're not looking at yourself. Other people are. Um, with that kind of thought in mind, like going back to being alone in the world in this weird universe where there's only one person and you're you're it maybe even in a world where there aren't any mirrors does it matter what your outward appearance looks like the root of it always will be other people and i have gone so far to try to be you know what other people think don't doesn't matter this is something that a lot of YouTubers even push. And when it it's funny, it, when it comes down to your mental wellness, your confidence in talking and doing, you know, a lot of people talk about how to become a good YouTuber and um, people scream, oh, well, you know, confidence and just keep doing what you do and be yourself and, you know. They have all these ideals about, you know, doing what you love. You know, I'm bullied at school. What do what do I do? Well, bullies, you know, they they suck anyway, and they're not gonna be there forever. And you should do what you love and um, go to go to school. And you know, if you love Ninja Turtles and everybody makes fun of you for it, you know, forget them. You know, you're happy with it. Be happy with it. You know, for all those. Uh, kids out there who are those those bronies, you know, who liked My Little Pony. Um, certainly I wouldn't, but you know what? They had the guts to, you know, be themselves. And they were told often, be yourself if you like it. You know, who cares if it's stereotypically for girls? It doesn't matter. If you like it, keep doing it. It's what you enjoy. Don't let others dissuade you from that. And absolutely, that's what a lot of people do and what they follow. But then it seems like when it comes to outward appearance, oh, well, you know, that's where the break happens. Well, then you should change yourself, you know, if you feel you need to, you know. Put on lots of makeup to appear beautiful to others, you know. I, just, I don't get it. And this is why I wanted to talk about it. You know, I was fine just leaving a comment and being on my way. Because I thought that I had talked about it enough in my own brain and that I had thought about it enough. But I just didn't get any answers from myself. And I can't. Because I know what I know and I don't know what I don't know. And if I need answers to something, the only place I can get them is by asking. And so this is why I'm making this video in general is to ask why. Why, why, why is there this societal stigma on people doing things to themselves and why is there also then conversely this sort of a mentality that what other people think matters you know and yes it's a point of embarrassment and yes it's a point of confidence and well-being and all that i get it but i don't know why it's a thing because i don't have this thing um and i'll explain that in a little second but you know, I, I think that outward appearance being such a huge issue is something that we must have been taught. We couldn't know it. Going back one more time to being the only person on Earth. It's not like we would ever know to hate ourselves. We wouldn't have any reason to. <laughs> you know, if I was the only thing in existence... And I looked at myself. I caught a glimpse of myself. I don't think the immediate reaction I'd have is, Oh, good God, I'm hideous. I, I just couldn't picture that. I don't know why I would say that. You know? I don't think... Well, okay, a <laughs> bad example. I was about to say, you know, I don't think any other animals out there look at themselves in the mirror and think, Ugh, you know, gross. This is terrible. What will the other dogs think of me? But then again, I've had dogs who looked at themselves in the mirror and then got freaked out and started barking like rabid. But <laughs> so maybe that's a bad example. But like, I don't 
think that if there weren't people telling us how we should look or making us feel bad for looking a certain way, that it would even be a thing. Probably not even dyeing hair or putting on makeup or getting piercings or getting tattoos. That outward appearance of, of representation probably wouldn't be a thing. And I know that there's a lot of creativity there and enjoyment there. Um, I'm just saying, I'm making the comment that like, if outward appearance really truly didn't matter to anyone, then I don't think we'd have emphasis on it, positive or negative. Like, I don't think that we'd get things like tattoos and piercings and all that kind of stuff. Because while people can make you feel good for your outward appearance, people can also make you feel really bad, you know. It's no... I, I, I pause in saying this, but it, it, it's really no secret that beautiful people... The people who are classically thought of as attractive. Uh, they do have it easy. And not always, but certainly, you know, I see attractive people getting lots of attention easily. Whereas someone who is not as attractive may have a bit of a difficult time of it. And it's just this way that we've maybe been brought up. I don't know. I don't know what it is mentally. Um, it's, again, something that I can't really relate to. Because I, I hate being the one to say, like, I like all people. And maybe, like Aurelian said, that's the worst thing to say to someone who's thinking about, you know, changing themselves. Telling them that you like the way that they look. The way that they are. But genuinely... When I look at someone's outward appearance, um, I see everybody as kind of a, in a, like they're perfect. People are perfect. We've all been, I mean, the life in itself is some sort of scientific miracle. It is absolutely insane that we even exist. It's insane that we look the way that we look to begin with. The fact that someone has a crooked nose or a big ears or a chubby chin or a weird lazy eye or, you know, whatever. Our weirdness, our uniqueness, our quirks and differences make us all the more unique and special. I mean, this, this is something kind of perfect about it, you know? And in other things... Humans tend to kind of enjoy those differences, you know? If I have a, saying a dog again, you know? If I had a dog, and he had a weird lopsided ear, you know, maybe, maybe the result of trauma, maybe not. But, you know, maybe he looks kind of wonky. Maybe he's got an overbite or an underbite or, you know, maybe he's got a weird discolored nose. I'm going to love the heck out of that dog for being a unique little dog and for his differences. I'm not going to look at him and say, gee, I wish that his ears were, were straight, you know? Oh, I wish that he had more spots. I know some people do that, certainly with dogs too even, but you know what? More often than not, we're able to accept the differences in appearance of other things than we are with humans. It's this, it's this weird thing that I think we've been definitely taught. Um, but yeah, like I was saying just a second ago, is that I, I find people to be perfect. I, I enjoy their differences just as much as I would on a puppy. And I'm not comparing people with dogs, obviously, but I'm just saying, you know, the uniquenesses of things like that make them good. And the same thing with people. You know, your differences make you good. That's what makes you, you. If we all look the same, if we all fit the same mold, well, you know, I'd be Brad Pitt for sure. But, hey, someone's got to be. Um, it's just, I, I enjoy being myself. 
okay? And this is not only outward appearance, but inward appearance. And I think that's where the big step, the first step in accepting your outward appearance has to be. Now, when you ask, people ask about, you know, confidence and things like that. I, I seldom talk about myself except that I have confidence. Oh, I have so much confidence. It's not a problem for me. You know, it's it's maybe a bit of a secret, but... Or a personal matter that I don't talk about anyway. It's not a secret. But I never had this kind of confidence when I was growing up. As far back as university age. So, you know, maybe you watching out there are still in high school. Maybe you're, you're even younger than that. Um, and you're thinking that... You know, oh, I'll never gain confidence. I didn't have it until I was, like, 20 years old. <laughs> when I was growing up, I wasn't thought of as attractive. At least not to the people who I went to school with. Um, and maybe it's true. Maybe I am the, the definition of ugly. What people find ugly. Everybody else on Earth who would see me thinks, oh, God, I'm hideous. I don't know. I don't care at this point. But for some reason, one reason or another, when I was in school, I was deemed the ugly kid. Or one of the ugly kids, I should say. Wasn't the only one who got ridiculed. But certainly, I was told continually, day after day after day after day, that I was ugly and that nobody would ever love me. And... Like, I'm not kidding you. It was... It was I used to ride the bus to school. Okay, for like years and years and years and years. 12 years I was on a bus going to school. And on those 12 years, I talked to someone a total of probably three times. Three times in 12 years. Conversations lasting up to maybe a full minute. Um, that's how... Ooh, that's how popular I was. That's how confident in myself I was. Because every time I opened my mouth and tried to talk to someone... It was generally people around me who hated me, who didn't get along with me, who wanted nothing to do with me. I didn't have any friends on the bus. I didn't have people I could confide in. When I got to school, even my friends would ridicule me sometimes and make me feel terrible. And it's not how things should be. It's sometimes how it is, but it's not how things should be. And that's just the way that it was, you know. So, I grew up with a lack of confidence right away. Um, and then was bullied for it, you know. Not only was I told by people, you're ugly, you're ugly, you're ugly. Um, I was told, you know, or I, I, was, I was physically beat up by people, you know. And, and harassed and hurt pushed around um, had things stolen from me broken from me you know if I, I learned very early on that I couldn't bring anything important to school like you know if I ever I, I, I knew that I could never bring something like my Game Boy uh, to school um, the old-fashioned version of a 3ds for those watching and don't know all right um, I couldn't bring something like that <laughs> We didn't have cell phones back then. I'm old. So it's not like that could have gotten broken. But I knew that even if I, if I did have a cell phone, I couldn't have brought it. Because it would have been destroyed by people who were spiteful, people who were jealous, people who were just being bullies. Because they wanted to be. You know, whatever reason. So I knew that I couldn't bring things like that. And I and it was it was tough. You know, it was it was a rocky... You know, let's say I only really developed a little bit of confidence and friendship probably 15 years into my school life. Sounds like a long time, and it is, admittedly. So, you know, what's changed? How am I the epitome of confidence now? I've even talked, given like podcast talks on how to develop confidence and what what I do to be confident and, you know. And the problem is, I don't know. I don't know what. 
I just love myself and I can't explain why. I just do. And it's something I think I I forced on myself. I think I I must have uh, taught myself. Just like you can teach someone to hate someone's outward appearance through time. I taught myself to just love myself. And it's just something that I, I developed. It wasn't something that was natural. That's what I want to make clear by explaining all of this in my past. Is that it's not something that was natural. Because I, I know there are people who at even very, very early, early ages, have are, they're beaming with confidence and charisma and sociability and and the ability to go out there and and be amazing people that was not who i was i was definitely not one of those people an introvert doesn't begin to explain what i was and and yet with time and it happened more often when i was in university when i just got there um i again had left all my high school friends behind um I had left all those memories, both bad and good, behind. And it was a new leaf I was turning. And it was just, you know what? I I want to be confident in myself. I want to look at myself and enjoy what I see. I want to, both inwards and outwards, I want to be amazing. Because I am amazing. And... It was sort of that kind of mentality that I just kept maybe repeating again and again and again and again and again. Um, and obviously this worked for me, but it might not work for everyone. You know, I'm not saying that it will. I'm just saying, you know, I now look at myself with a certain edge of narcissism on purpose. You know, when I say that I'm amazing, it's because it's not necessarily because I I always have believed I was amazing or that I feel like I'm entitled to be amazing. It's because, you know, I I truly think that all people are amazing. And I just happen to be one of the most amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just if you feel so good about yourself on purpose, it's a weird feeling. And I've even said that to people, you know, people who have confidence issues. Like, I'm just, you know what? Spend a day, just one day even, being like the most narcissistic, terrible human. <laughs> but like, just love yourself to the extreme for a day, you know? Scoff at what others might think for a day. And it feels so good to be able to... Look at what others have maybe said about you or done to you in the past and think, those guys are losers. I'm amazing, you know? I'm better than they are. That kind of mentality is what kind of maybe brought me through it. So getting back to the whole outward appearance thing and why I brought all of this up is because there is a certain aspect of it because I've been through it. I've... I've been through hell and back about my appearance. But not once have I ever thought, oh, I'm going to surgically change myself to fit what others feel I should I should be. Or so that I can go outside and feel comfortable about what I should be. On the contrary, I changed my opinion of myself. That's how I fixed my outward appearance. You know, to the point where I don't care if you don't like what I look like. You know, if someone comes into my stream chat and they say, Oh my god, poet, you're ugly and fat. I'm gonna ban you and mock you and <laughs> that'll be it. You know, I don't say, I don't go after the stream. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should consider, you know, going on a diet or, uh... You know, maybe I should, uh, you know, trim the old beard because it's looking kind of scraggly and they were mocking me for it. And... No, I don't care. I really don't care what other people think about me. And that brings me back once again to the only person on earth 
I feel like if I was the only person on Earth, I wouldn't hate what I looked like ever. I would never have. You would just be con confidence wouldn't even be a tangible thing because you wouldn't have anyone to show confidence to except yourself. So, I mean, that's the thing. I can't speak for other people. I have this kind of confidence because I chose to. Others, they, they choose not to or they just... They can't. What worked for me might not work for them. I can't say, oh, do this so that you don't have to do this. You know, you know, be confident. Just be confident. Do it. Um, so that you don't have to You feel bad about yourself. I can't say that. That doesn't work like that. Not for everyone. Maybe for one or two or 90% even, but not for everyone. So it brings me back to the whole point, you know, I am fine with what people do to themselves, what they want to do with themselves, what works for them is going to work for them. And only they will know what works for them. But it was just my personal opinion of it. Why I don't feel it's necessary for myself and why I don't feel it's necessary for other people and getting that much out there because that seemed to be like the whole point of the video and the questions and all that that Aurelian had posted was to say like, you know, if you do this, you know, you're not thinking you're thinking about stereotypes and you're doing this and this and you're you're wrong in your thinking even um and my point is that no like i i think the way that i think because my experiences with it are just as unique as someone else's experiences with it the reason that they might want to do plastic surgery is just as profound as the reason why i don't you know so i wanted to get those thoughts out there i wanted to talk about it i wanted to explain myself and my reasoning and maybe it makes sense maybe it doesn't you know it's it's a struggle life is in general but i feel there's a little part of me that feels saddened when people feel that their outward appearance to others is a thing of importance our mental appearance to others should be the most important thing. And maybe your outward appearance helps your mental state. But why? Why does it? Why, as a society, have we been brought up to feel bad about ourselves or insecure about ourselves or, or that we are imperfect in some way? Why do we feel this way about ourselves? I don't understand it. And that is why I'm making this video. It's like a plea. It's a, I'm begging for advice. I don't know. I want to ex understand it better. And I mean, I've had this debate with so many people and it always comes down to, you know, and I, I've had the debate with people who have wanted plastic surgery or wanted to change themselves or wish they had looked different at the least. And it always comes down to me saying, I just don't understand because I can't relate. And them saying, I know. I know you don't understand and can't relate. And maybe that's just where it has to end. I just feel like surely someone, somewhere, can explain it to me in a way that will make that, that will satisfy my desire to to Well, it's not like I'm going to go out of my way and and hate myself you know i i can't do that i don't have that ability anymore i've completely lost that that ability but i can relate to feeling ugly i can relate to feeling bad about myself but i've never wanted to change myself to help them you know what i mean 
Like, if it's people telling you that you're ugly, why let them win by changing yourself to feel better around them? The only ones who need to change are the people who have those bad attitudes. Honestly. I, I don't get it. It seems like, even though I'm probably wrong, and I'm probably being a little bit rude and naive, that it seems like a little bit of a defeat, in a way. A defeat to all the bullies out there who told me that I was ugly, who told me that I would amount to nothing when I admit, oh yeah, well, you know what? I am ugly and I need to change. I need to change this so that I can feel better about myself. You know, I I would be admitting that they were right and they weren't right. I don't know of very many people who would say, yes, they were right. You were ugly. <laughs> and be able to sleep at night. Like, that's not a very nice or human thing to do. So, I kind of just wanted to leave it at that. I just wanted to leave it at that as confused and undecided as I began. Um, as we spend our remaining seconds here in the nether. Um, what are your thoughts on it? Not just like plastic surgery in general, because that's that's how Aurelian wanted to present it. But I'm not so much talking about just plastic surgery. I'm talking more about outward appearance in general and about other people's perspectives of it and why we feel that we should change ourselves, whether it's even, you know, something as profound and important as skin color, you know? Absolutely, <laughs> there have been throughout history people who were born of a certain race, skin color, skin tone, who have wanted or wished that they could be different. And it would be absolutely insane and wrong to either demand or expect that they would change the way that they they are to suit other people's demands of what attract, attractive is. You know? So why is it that, you know, on a lesser level, our outward appearance in general matters? You know, it doesn't matter what your background is. I don't know why it matters. And that's, that's, we're back in that loop, right? I don't know why. I can't understand it. I can't relate to ever wanting it done. Like, I was asked the other day, haven't you ever looked in the mirror and thought, oh, I wish I could change, you know, this, whatever? Haven't you ever thought, oh, I wish my butt looked different? You know? And I, no! Never! I don't know why I haven't thought this, but I just have never thought this. And why would I? I like the way that I look. You know? And why wouldn't I? But that, that that's the question. Why wouldn't I like the way that I look? And why wouldn't you like the way that you look? That question doesn't seem to get answered very well. Without bringing other people's opinions into it. And why should those matter? So I want I want answers. I demand them. <laughs> and I want to just talk about it. I want, I want to hear what other people have to say about it. Their own personal experiences of it. How they deal with it. Um, or don't deal with it. And uh, yeah, let's, let's do a little talk about it. If you want to go see Aurelian's video, it's on her channel. I'm sure y'all can find it with a quick Google search or YouTube search for that matter. So I'll leave it at that. I'm just as confused as I was at the beginning. And that's the point though. You know, I, I knew that I would be because I can't answer myself. I can't answer the question. The 
I can't give answers to the questions. No, wait. How does the... I cannot give an answer that I do not know the answer to. Wait. <laughs> if I don't have an answer to something, how can I answer it for myself? Maybe that's how I should say it. And with that, we'll be seeing you guys next time on Time Shot. Again, be sure to like this video and leave a comment below and do all those other awesome things people do. And we'll see ya. Bye-bye.